you know, everyone has a different motivation of moving to Lake Martin part-time, uh, move here because it's a uh, slow, easy pace living, raise your family like we are, retire like you thought maybe that was your plan, and then more times than not, you have people who want or think they're going to retire, but then continue working. And this home, which you will see in our real estate segment today, allows John and his lovely wife, Nancy, to really work and live in the same place. So tell us what you do now, John. Well, it's a kind of little story. It, it's, um, uh, it started back in 1998, and I had my first trip to Southern Africa. And then since then, I've had quite a few trips, and also I hunt. I've done some hunting. Mm -hmm. So in about year 2007, 2008, I got kind of bored of playing golf all the time, and you know, <laughs> I had to do something. <laughs> That's right. So uh, I started looking into it, and what I would do, we'll go back to the, the South Africa and the safaris. A lot of people would ask me, refer me, refer them to somebody who could set up safaris for them or hunts for them. So I did. I gave them their names. And one day I started thinking about, says, what kind of do this as a business and do it myself? And so I did. I, I worked hard. You had several things you had to do before you became a travel agent to qualify for it and things would be doing that. So I, I really started in earnest in 2008 mm -hmm. to this time. So I enjoy doing that. And most of my business is photo safari to Southern Africa, oh. to South Africa and Botswana and Zimbabwe yes. and those countries in, in, the, in South Africa, Southern Africa. So that's what I do. Now the hunting part, if somebody wants to go hunting, I know some outfitters I recommend to and, and they handle that. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't do the hunting part. Okay. But the photo safari. But on top of that, I do other things a travel agent does, but that's, that's, uh, my specialty is okay it sounds like it's now's a really good time to go to south africa it's a bargain it's never been like this i can remember and uh the south african rand their unit of currency usually in the old days ran six to six and a half rand to the dollar mm -hmm. now it's up to 17 rand to the dollar so they price all the safaris in rand so you can Incredible. see you're going for less than 50% what you used to do just three years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's a tremendous bargain. It's never been a better time to go. And when you were talking to me about these safaris, it's not just, you know, land in the middle of a desert and look for animal all day. I mean, talk about the wineries and the city and the history a little bit. Well, usually we set them up, we always want to go to Cape Town, which to me is a pretty city in the world. And we spend four days there touring the Cape, uh, touring the city, Robben Island, where Nelson Mandela was held. So there's a lot of things you can see and mm -hmm. do there mm -hmm. in a four-day period. And also, one of those days, we go to wine country, which is an hour and a half away. Yes. And doing, uh, visiting the wine country and wine tasting and all that. Mm -hmm. So that's that. And, and you do have the, the biggest part of is the bush safaris, you know, mm -hmm. going in safari, which people usually do for two or three days, mm -hmm. seeing the animals. I mean, you'll be sitting in a Range Rover and just about three feet from you'll be a pride of lions, you know, eating a giraffe. That's how close you get to these animals. Oh so it's okay. fascinating. Yes. So, uh, and, and there's other things to see too, just to that, you know, they have the Garden Coast, which to me is prettier than Highway 1 in California, which is from Cape Town to Port Elizabeth, you know, to drive. That's about a four-day drive. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's a tremendous lot of things to see there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and my repeat people, they sometimes, and they want to go to Victoria Falls on another safari, go to Botswana, go to Namibia or Mozambique, or, and then we have some that goes to East Africa, which is uh, Tanzania and Kenya. Okay, John, I'm sold. I would love to go on a safari. How soon, or I'm sorry, how far in advance do we need to book a, a trip like that with you? Six months to a year in advance. Okay. Because um, I don't think people in our country realize how popular it is because mm -mm. the country in Europe and, and uh, Asia and Australians, that's the number one destination. 
So the, oh the good places you're going to send people is already sold out. Like June, there's nothing available in June that I know of, and probably July, because that's their big season there. It's their wintertime. Their season's the reverse of ours. So uh, that's, that's a big season for them. Okay. So. Good to know. So it takes a little planning, just like anything else that's worthwhile in life. And thank you so much for teaching us more about this. And the good deal about it, if I book somebody now, I can lock in that price. Mm. Mm -hmm. A year, year and a half, and even even the yen increases in value, so right. the price is locked in. Okay, we'll give him a call, and I appreciate your time. All right, thank you.